In this episode of North Central Idaho's Video Explorer, travel the path of Lewis and Clark, go in search of the elusive Huckleberry, and test your skill in the beautiful streams and rivers of the rugged Idaho backcountry. The Clearwater region of North Central Idaho includes the Clearwater River and its tributaries from the eastern border with Montana to the western border with Washington. It's a huge chunk of territory including the massive Selway Bitterroot Wilderness, the Nez Perce National Forest, and the Clearwater National Forest. With all of these public lands to explore, there's no shortage of space for whatever adventures excite you. Three of Idaho's scenic, historic, and backcountry byways weave through this magnificent landscape. The 202-mile Northwest Passage Scenic Byway crosses the entire state, following the paths of the Nez Perce and the exploration route of Lewis and Clark. From the west, this beautiful route begins on U.S. Highway 12 at Lewiston and follows the winding Clearwater River Canyon, passing through the Nez Perce National Historical Park areas of Spalding and Kamii and the towns of Orofino and Kuski. At Kuski, the byway splits. One segment turns south on Idaho Highway 13 toward the Camas Prairie in the town of Grangeville. The longer segment continues east on Highway 12 along the middle fork of the Clearwater River and the Locksaw Wild and Scenic River through the magnificent wilderness areas and reaching the Montana border at the Lolo Pass Visitor Center. The Clearwater is famous for steelhead fishing and fly fishermen enjoy unmatched rivers and streams to ply their trade. Visitors also enjoy hiking, camping, backcountry horseback riding, ATV trails, and one spectacular vista after another. The Locksaw, Clearwater, and Selway Rivers all offer spectacular whitewater rapids, ranging from fairly easy water on the Clearwater to a tempest on the Locksaw. Several outfitters can guide you through a safe and fun adventure. The historical offerings of the Northwest Passage Scenic Byway are almost overwhelming. The Nez Perce National Historical Park Visitor Center is in Spalding. Up the river in Orofino, visit Canoe Camp, where the Nez Perce helped the Lewis and Clark expedition build canoes for their journey to the Pacific. The Heart of the Monster, near Kamii, is a geological formation central to Nez Perce creation lore. As you move further east into the more remote segments of the byway, enjoy the Fen and Locksaw Historic Ranger Stations, the Devoto Cedar Grove, and the Lolo Pass Visitor Center. The Lolo Pass Visitor Center is fairly new. It was built five and a half years ago. We tell people if you had a rock and a good throwing arm, you could throw a stone and you'd hit Montana. You're that close, but you are in Idaho. In the summer, it functions as a Forest Service Visitor Center, giving visitors information about the Lolo Trail, which encompasses the Lewis and Clark and the Nez Perce Trail. We have winter recreationists coming to enjoy the scenery and the snowfall at Lolo Pass. We have two to 400 miles of snowmobile trails that start in Idaho and Montana and run together. We have cross-country ski trails, we have a snowshoe trail, and we have telemark skiing. Uh, which always amazes me. They'll go up to like seven or 8,000 feet and just come down there blazing. Harley Davidson ranks this as one of the top 10 rides in the world. And when a motorcycle people come in with a big grin on their face, you know that uh, they enjoyed the ride. One of the biggest things that the people are most appreciative of is a ruggedness and a pristine value of this area that they just fall in love with it and they say they're going to be back. And I mean, it sells itself. The 57 mile Elk River Backcountry Byway branches off from Highway 12 at Orofino, follow winding roads through beautiful farmland, and then through dense evergreen forests. The byway takes you to Dwarshack Reservoir, a favorite for fishing, swimming, boating, and skiing. Up the road in Elk River, enjoy boating and fishing at the Elk Creek Reservoir. Take an easy hike to view the beautiful succession of falls along Elk Creek. Elk River is a favorite starting point for ATV riders with hundreds of miles of backcountry trails and roads. There's no better place to hunt for the elusive huckleberry, and in the winter, snowmobilers enjoy over 300 miles of groomed trails. The 42 and a half mile Gold Rush Historic Byway also stems off from Highway 12, just up the Clearwater River from Orofino at Greer. Not far from modern day Weipe, the Lewis and Clark Expedition came through in 1805 just in time to be saved from starvation by the Nez Perce. Ten miles further is the town of Pierce, where the first gold in Idaho was discovered in 1860. If you want to get a flavor of the Old West, there's no better place than Pierce, 
with a historic downtown and Idaho's first county courthouse. Between Wee Ipe and Pierce is the Bald Mountain Ski Area, touted as the best little ski hill in Idaho. The Clearwater region offers a number of events that really promote the flavor of the great outdoors. The Wee Ipe Camas Festival is held every Memorial Day weekend. See Camas in bloom on the Wee Ipe Prairie and enjoy music, arts and crafts, historical and cultural displays, and traditional craft demonstrations. Enter into the Old West during Pierce's 1860 days in August. Pan for gold, catch a trout, Enjoy a small town parade and just take in a full weekend of activities. Be sure to clear the street if you run into any gunfighters. Kamei's annual Barbecue Days event takes place every Labor Day weekend with an arts and crafts show, the Grand Main Street Parade, a beer garden, and a free barbecue dinner on Saturday night. Everyone is welcome. In September, Orofino's Lumberjack Days coincides with the Clearwater County Fair. Take a look at the skills that have been the livelihood of this region for over a century. While you're visiting the region, take advantage of all the friendly places to eat and stay. Choose from a bed and breakfast, a rustic lodge or cabins, or a great selection of hotels and motels. The Clearwater region is easily accessible by road or via air through the Lewiston Nespers County Regional Airport. If you need help planning your visit, click on the appropriate link on this page and be sure to check back soon for our next installment of the North Central Idaho Video Explorer.